photographing such a dress, like the one next to me here, uh, can have its challenges. There's a temptation to uh, photograph it hung like this. Uh, then we can see all the spaghetti straps in detail. The problem is that it doesn't have much shape, so it's a little bit lifeless. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you some ways we can make it work on a mannequin. There's a fair bit to remove in post-production here, but what we can do is remove some mannequin elements so we're able to uh, reduce that post-production a little bit. So let's start by taking the neck piece out and then the back neck very gently. Okay, so one piece has fallen in. Let me add a tiny bit of tape. So with the pieces removed, what we have is a nice reference as to what it will look like once it's cut out. We can see exactly where the crossover on the back. So that's gonna help us. Turning the mannequin around, what I can now do is dress inside out, putting those straps in a position that they were in before to match the front. So what we've done is we've switched uh, the dress onto the mannequin and what we've been able to do is shoot the front shot and then effectively grab that inside out picture of the back. These two images we can composite together to create um, that hollow man effect or hollow woman in this case effect uh, all just using the mannequin. We retain the shape of the garment and we get a nice shot that looks super realistic. This particular dress is probably a little bit too big for this mannequin, but uh, let me show you how we can get around that. I'm just gonna make sure the dress is nice and central. I'm gonna use a tiny bit of tape here towards the back of the shoulders, and that's just gonna keep these straps from falling down. I'm gonna go ahead and remove some pieces. That's gonna give us a little bit of help when it comes to post-production because we're gonna to have to cut these bits of mannequin out anyway. We move to the back now. So what we're gonna do here is make sure this is kind of central. Fold the fabric, not too tight, and I'm gonna do it the same thing down further on the hips. So I've got a bit of fabric bulging at the back here. I'm just gonna take a pin and I'm going to pin that down at the back. This dress is a little bit darker down here on the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a little bit of whiteboard and I'm gonna pop it in like that for my shot and it's just gonna even it out a little bit. So even if the dress is a little bit too big for the mannequin, what we can do is we can use some pins, some clips, not too much, but we can help that dress fit better on that mannequin. 